So that same Facebook group I've been, um, Junk Journal Junkies, I joined another swap, and this one is between veteran and a newbie. And I'm I'm the newbie um, because these are technically some of the first Junk Journal um, items I've ever made. And so the challenge is that you, as a newbie, create six or more envelopes and send it to the veteran. And the veteran, in turn, will send you like a package of crafting supplies to get you started. Um, and so I created a bunch of different envelopes and I'm very excited to share them. So let's start. These are called, I think, cash envelopes. And I got this idea from the paper outpost. Um, it's made from one piece of paper and this was the first one I made long, but then I was like, let me make a shorter one. So I did. And um, this is inked in pine needles. And I just really like this color on it. Um, and um, this is actually the papers from um, an old sheet music book that I got from the thrift store for like a dollar. And the paper is like very, very substantial. Like it's almost like, um, like a, just like a step below cardboard. And it's um, the songs are all in French, but this one is actually Sleeping Beauty. And on the back is the English translation, which I thought was just really cool. And so I stuck this um, piece of fringed lace ribbon that I tea dyed. And then I also put some of the green ink on it. And then on top of that, I layered and collaged pink dyed paper and more scraps from that sheet music. And on this side is Tim Holt's ideology layering ephemera. And it's just this lady who I imagine she's sleeping beauty. And so you cover this up so she can sleep. And then when you uncover her, she's awake. That's the story I created. And on the back, I just basically went cray cray on washi. And I saw this idea on some YouTuber who was doing um, planners. And I just thought it was so cool. I've never thought, I would never have thought about layering washi tape like this. And um, the way they did it was way better than mine. This is my first time ever doing it. Um, and you know, I don't have like a color study understanding or, you know, blocking or anything like that. But hopefully soon I'll start to kind of get the groove of it. But yeah, I basically layered different types of washi that I felt like all matched and um, put a little piece of scrap sheet music here and then stamped it with um, some butterfly there, same butterfly, and then my fingerprint just to add a little bit of interest. And yeah, I just, you know, it's, it's a great way of using up your washi. And I have so many, I mean, I have like almost 80 washi rolls and I've never used them, but I just got them too. Um, so I'm excited for that. And this one is a shorter version. I used um, Chips Sapphire, also same um, collection. And this, I just rounded the edges instead and I ripped up scrap pink dyed paper, more scrap sheet music, and on the back, I had a sample, a blue sample stamp, and I thought it would like fit in perfectly. And here, another piece of scrap sheet music that I turned vertically, and this is from the Tim Holtz Ideology Collection. I think this one is the Layers Collection, and I just ripped it into two pieces to create more you know, visual interest in layering and then put them here instead of like together. I think it was like a, a rectangle before. And that's what I, you know, that's something I realized, I've started to realize why I love junk journals and all the different crafting that comes with it because you can just literally keep going on and on and on and just rip things up, add things to something else, alter things, modify things, color things up layer things on top of each other and you don't ever have to really throw anything away if you don't want to you can keep using things over and over again like i see now why so many people on youtube who junk journal have boxes and boxes of collections of scraps <laughs> because i was trying to be diligent about throwing them away but i have found myself actually digging into the garbage can next to my desk and taking like taking scraps out and being like, oh, here, I can put that there. Or, you know, like I can use that here as a background or, oh, I used this part right here for, for, you know, a bigger page, but I had this leftover and it's just like unending supplies. And then the more you're journaling, the more you're, you're creating junk journals, the more scraps you create. And then so you save them. So it's just like, 
it's the gift that keeps on giving, literally. And I, I really love that about it. Okay, let's continue on. And then I created these two envelopes. Um, same uh, procedure. I basically took a full piece of paper, folded it into thirds, and then glued the sides to create a pocket on each one. Um, this one was from a Norman Rockwell, like a giant hardcover Norman Rockwell Christmas uh, story collection with his um, illustrations on it that I got for like a dollar or two dollars. And I inked it with aged burgundy. So it creates like this really lovely dark pink mahogany color, which I really like. And um, this is a piece of vellum that I've also used here, 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 and where else have I used it? And here, and it's just like a 12 by 12 piece of vellum from a Tim Holtz paper collection. And I've literally only used one 12 by 12 piece of paper and I've made, and I've used it for like nine different things. Like it's, I'm definitely getting my money's worth for it. And, and that's again, part of the beauty of junk journal is that you can just use every part of everything. So this, um, was also from the Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And, um, I glued a piece of burlap ribbon onto it that I got on clearance at either Hobby Lobby or Michael's for like a dollar or two dollars and I think it's really nice and here I just create a little layered collage for interest um, piece of scrap paper ripped washi that kind of matches a little bit and um, this enclosure card stock from the ideology collection and I left the blank the back blank so um, the recipient can either decorated themselves or they can just like glue it onto a page or something so I just want to, you know I left that blank for dealer's choice here is the other one I made um, and here I just collaged and layered a bunch of scraps so it was scrap uh, wrapping paper for your, pro your purchases at Hobby Lobby scrap pink dyed paper scrap piece of leftover music sheet and then the scrap vellum and then here again just that same vellum. Um, it was like a collaged vellum with like a rose and like um, mailing label, letters, and other random little bits of bits and bobs of interest in it. So this rose I put on the background of the pink and I used um, pine needles as the anchor for it to create the edges. And on the back, again, that same piece of vellum. This is the postage I was talking about. This also, you can't really see it. That's also part of the vellum. This is um, a tree that I ripped out of um, a CB2 catalog. And then below that, I believe that that is leftover music paper that I was practicing stamping on. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, it's, it kind of works. You know, it like matches the, the red kind of calls to each other. And here, this is also from the Layers Collection, Tim Holtz Ideology. I ripped the, two, the from four and I'll use that somewhere else. I just want to kind of just like just do a little bit, just to create a little bit of like, you know, cutest cuteness, I guess. And you know, you can fill it out if you want. So that's these. And then I created this mini envelope using a paper outpost template. And this comes with a little beak for you to insert the envelopes. Um, I don't know what that's called, the lid, I guess. And I used um, the Fiskar lace corner puncher, um, which I really like the design, but the reviews are terrible on Amazon. And I can see why, because, you know, like you can kind of see here, it doesn't really cut too cleanly. Um, and I think that was a lot of the complaints was that it would rip the paper or just doesn't punch cleanly, which kind of sucks because I really like it. Um, but. I could see why and I've been trying to like punch it on foil just to get some sharpness back to it and so I hope that it will last me but I got it used on Amazon for like 10 bucks so you know let me get my mileage this sticker this sticker this sticker this sticker is all from the boho collection recollection stickers uh, I got for six bucks an entire booklet and I just love all the stickers they're all so like 
whimsical and fantastic, yet also has like a sort of sophistication and maturity to it, which I really like. And on the back, um, this is another Tim Holtz layers um, card stock that I ripped up. And this is just from like a like a US mail label that I I was using part of it. And I decided to just like, I've been like Frankensteining it basically. Like, you know, like here, this, I was just testing another recipient's name on there. And um, I just ripped that part out. Like, it's just, you know, like you can just use everything. And here's a confidential stamp that I have, which I love. And here I ripped the paper a little bit and it inked it to just kind of give it more of that like aged antique feel to it, which, you know, just adds a little bit of interest. Um, and let me show you this, my favorite thing that I made. I made a specimen card. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Basically, I have been obsessed with these since I started watching different um, types of projects that you can put inside of junk journals. And I was like, I gotta make this. Like, I know it's a little harder, it's a more advanced, but I definitely wanna make this. And I did, and it was really hard to do. I used um, a blade for this and the blade kept wanting to go sideways. And it was really hard to just like get it to cut right. Um, but here is a dried piece of lavender my friend gave me that he dried. And it like, you know, just kind of like, it's the specimen. So this side is um, like more like a, like a med medical medicinal, um, specimen card with like um, the receipt and like for the druggist um, name, physician's name, the doctor handle with care and um, kind of like a seal here a little bit like an official seal. And this is from that same vellum paper that I've been using, but it just worked well. And on this side is more, um, I was thinking this is more like a mysterious like circus, fun town, like you, or you know, you go there and um, you peek through like a curtain and then it's like kind of like this alien plant. So it's like, it's like a dual purpose specimen card, which I thought was fun. And so this side is kind of like a ticket to get in. Here's like a, like a, almost like a bloody fingerprint. And then like your, you know, I think this is like your number in line and that, and that, and this is all like scraps basically. And I also turned into sort of like a pocket here. Um, but I got I, I just realized I got to re-glue that. But yeah, this turns into like a pocket, but I might just actually glue the whole thing because I'm afraid of it ripping like that. So yes, I might do that. I think I'm glad I'm showing you this right now. But this, I'm really proud of it. I think it's really cool. And here are two multi-pocket envelopes I created. I think both of them are using Pam from the Paper Outposts tutorials. This is from an Anderson's fairy tale book that it's like this ancient book. I'm not even, I think it's from the 20s or 10s. And the paper just feels so dusty and smooth and just like ancient, but it doesn't feel like it's it's gonna it's fragile because it's it's still pretty substantive. And I just put washi tape that kind of matches this fussy cut from the Tim Holtz ideology collection. And then um, I used um, chip sapphire for this to ink the edges and also to create this um, all these um, stamping on here gay liveries haha <laughs> and um i used that fiskar corner puncher to punch the corners i don't know if you can see it it's kind of hard but yeah um i left the, bl the, f the back blank so they can either glue it onto something or they can decorate it themselves same with this one but this one is just from one piece of like full length book page that you cut into one inch two inches three inches and a four inch paper and then you can round the corners if you want, I did, and then just glued all the sides together and the bottom. And then it basically becomes like a shallow pocket in the front, middle pocket, and then a deep pocket in the back, which I like. And this is from a Christmas, from that Christmas Norman Rockwell book. And it's a, um, it was like a, like a full size picture of um, a stained glass. And it was just like, I think it was like a religious Christmas story that it accompanied. And I just added, Galaxy washi tape from um, Recollections Collection from Michaels. And I just thought it would, it was just really, it just all worked together to just kind of add um, like a visual tie in together with like the, you know, the angels st stained glass, but also this sky themed constellation um, washi. 
And this was from another, like a Happy Planner book collection, that uh, sticker collection that I got on clearance. And I just ripped it to kind of give it that more antiquated look. And here, this is actually a sticker from that same book. And it's kind of made it to look like a, a smudge. So yeah, so that's um, all the stuff I've created. These are the first items I've ever created. So I'm actually really proud of myself. I feel like I, feel like I had so much fun like the most fun. And also I felt like I created and produced things that I'm actually really proud of and things that I'm really excited to give to someone and hope that it brings them joy and happiness and, you know, like oodles and oodles and oodles of fun. So I'm actually quite proud of myself. Um, if you haven't started yet on junk journaling, you should just definitely start. Just everybody has all the materials that we're ready. Glue, scissors, and scrap pieces of paper. <laughs> so yeah, happy crafting. Thanks for watching.